everyone. Thanks so much for staying with us at 4.30. I'm Tristan Beggins. And I'm John Gray. Hundreds of people seeking asylum continue being bussed into New York City from the southern border. According to New York officials, 67,000 migrants have landed in the state so far. And they all need a place to stay, but uh, state lawmakers are at odds on where to house them. Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine telling us what options are on the table. In a recent letter to the governor, Catalina Cruz and Jonathan Rivera, two Assembly Democrats, call on Hochul to use all SUNY dorms statewide to provide shelter for migrants during the summer months. We're looking at about 50,000 dormitory units that can house about 100,000 people uh, for the next couple of months. Assemblymember Cruz says this would help in the meantime while a permanent solution is found. However, Senate Minority Leader Rob Ort has a different opinion. His conference recently introduced a bill that would prevent SUNY from housing migrants. Any way you slice it, this is going to be disruptive to campus life. There are summer programs, there are summer classes, there are students who do not leave uh, these colleges in the summertime. It's not as if these campuses are completely a ghost town. Instead, he would like migrants to be housed at convention centers in New York City, similar to what happened during the pandemic. He shared this in a letter to the governor on Thursday. You know, we think that's a better option. It's less disruptive to the, to the communities who are going to take these migrants. It's less disruptive to the migrants. They're already in the city. You already have a blueprint before you start moving them all over the place. As long as they are uh, set up in a way that provides the necessities, um, that provides uh, a dignified roof, it's a possibility. Uh, back when this all began, we urged the governor to use Javits Center um, as a possibility to house folks because it's a huge space. On Wednesday, the governor's office said, quote, Governor Hochul directed her administration to assess all possible sites that could be used to provide shelter for asylum seekers. There are multiple sites under consideration, including SUNY and CUNY campuses, and no final decisions have been made. Currently, 36 counties have declared a state of emergency over the migrant crisis, according to the New York State Association of Counties. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. And as the migrant situation in New York develops, you can stay with News 10 both on air and online at News 10.